So the book is faith-based. It does come from a Christian perspective, and I guess that makes it unique in the marketplace. It shouldn't be unique, because the Bible is probably the number one best-selling personal finance book of all time. How can I say that? Well, there's a gentleman by the name of Larry Briquette who once demonstrated that the Bible has over 2,350 verses on money, wealth, and possessions. Not so that we can all become rich and love money, but instead so that we're able to understand how to properly steward the finances that have come into our lives. So I must admit, this book does come from my own faith-based perspective, but I think that's a good thing. I will warn you, spiritual discernment is used in this book, so if that bothers you, beware.